Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is, hey guys, it's Tuesday, the 25th of January. This is our daily recap. So what do we have going on today? We've had another very wild, volatile day here in the markets. What do I mean by that? Well, when, if you look at the SPY, and we'll, we'll start with a five-minute chart, you can see here, closed on the highs yesterday, gap down, went lower, right? gave back a lot of yesterday's candle and then ramped up and went back all the way just about to yesterday's close and filled that gap. And now we've come off of it here with about 20 minutes to go. You can see today's candle on the SPY here, very wide range, big doji candle, volatility's back. What that means is volatility's back and we have a lot of range here in the markets. You don't need as much side to trade. Size. On the queues, nowhere's near as strong. So if you're looking at the queues, nowhere is near as strong. We did not even get back to yesterday's high. The IWM got back to yesterday's high pretty strong, and the diamond was the clear leader here, pushing up and above yesterday's high at one for a while before it came back in. If you're watching the VIX, the VIX here unfortunately just bounced back itself back out of the Bollinger Band. So we had gotten back in uh into the bollinger band and now we're back out of it we want to close back in it and unfortunately we pushed back out of it here also when you look at what's going on the spy breath which had been very negative went positive for a little bit and has gone back red here with 20 minutes to go so what does this all mean it means that this market is in a state of flux nothing's changed okay if you're looking at this market and i want to say this i'm going to put this out there for free tonight what the hell um Everybody that was complaining this market wouldn't correct and wouldn't come in. And now you got a correction in the market. Everybody's screaming now the market's going to die. The market's going to collapse. Um, this is what you wanted. Remember, you wanted a thing to deploy into. You know, I, I have my list. I am making my names. I'm looking at guys in the room. I've been talking to you about it. I've already been buying Ford. I have other names we're looking at here. We're talking about it actively of what we want to own here. But remember, this is what everybody wanted. They wanted the market to come in. So, you know, here we are, and then I'm seeing doom and gloom. The Fed is now our enemy. The Fed was your friend for the last 12, 13 years. The Fed's not your enemy. They merely think the economy can maintain itself. They're late. I'm not going to defend the Fed. The Fed doesn't deserve to be defended. They're late to this. They let inflation run rampant. Now they're playing catch up. So as we go into tomorrow, here's what I'm hoping to hear. You know, the Fed's going to come in tomorrow. I expect no changes. I got, there's people out there saying the Fed should cut all QE tomorrow and raise 50 basis points. These people are insane. Okay. The Fed should probably maintain their QE until March, which will be gone, right? The $30 billion taper per month. Plan on raising a 0.25% in March. And then they should say we're data dependent from there. One little term pointed out in the room data dependent will settle the markets down push back the talk of running off the balance sheet until second half of the year saying we're going to push back on talking about this for a few months and see how the market reacts, bearing in mind that outside influences like the Ukraine could bear weight on the market here. If the Fed is paying attention, this is what we hope they will do. So what do we have here going into tomorrow? We have a mess. The first thing everybody needs to do is watch Microsoft tonight. Microsoft reports after the close. Their conference call is not till 5.30, and that's when they guide on their call. So whatever happens here at four, a little after 4 today, I think it's 4.10, um, it's irrelevant until they guide. They do guidance on the call, and that is going to be the most important part of what Microsoft says and will tell us how cloud computing and software is doing, and that's what we want to hear. Tomorrow morning, we have Boeing. Right? Boeing's a big name. We want to hear what they have to say. Who else do we have tomorrow morning? We have AT&T. We already know Verizon was pretty good today. We have FCX. We'll get a look at the King of Copper, right? Abbott. We'll see what they have to say after this beatdown, even though testing through the roof. Bottom line here, if you're asking me, Mike, is this over? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody does, right? Nobody knows this is over. What I do know is this. The market is very unhappy here with the ways things are handling. Uh, if you bought my 2022 outlook, you know I was calling for a correction as high as 20% this year. We've hit 10 plus. We'll see if this wants to finish this off now or bounce. I think a lot depends on how the Fed is tomorrow and how they handle everything. With that said, I'm wishing you all a wonderful night. People in the room staying late for earnings all this week, and we'll see where we go tomorrow. 
Watch the Fed. Watch the reaction. Remember, Powell speaks at 2.30.